Are you ready? Yes. Good, I want to hear that. I need to hear that because, see this here? This is what I like. Not all students like this approach, but I always like to start with a big picture. Okay, big, big picture, and then we go down and focus on one part. If you study both the basic management accounting course, then you go to strategic management accounting, this is what you'll get in the basic management accounting course. This is what you'll get. You will get, you will be taught all about cost behavior, okay? Variable costs, fixed costs, okay? You will, be st you will study all about actual normal standard costs. I'll talk a little bit about that in the YouTube video. Job costing, activity-based costing, we're gonna spend a little bit more time on that tonight to try and get you in the mood. And then there are issues like average, LIFO, and FIFO. These are issues when it comes to allocating costs to inventory, which have to comply with different securities legislation around the world. So for example, GAP requires that you need LIFO or FIFO, but not both, okay? And that, that's for financial reporting. That's for the balance sheet, okay? So costing is very important for financial reporting. But what we're gonna do in this semester is look at how costing can be useful for strategic decision making. But we need to start somewhere. And since some of you, most of you have not studied basic management accounting, I just want to let you know that if you want to study it, you go into more detail in this area. And then you'll look at some applications, like inventory valuation, like pricing, like product mix decision, cost volume profit analysis, and budgeting. Mm. So we're not going to go into much detail into these areas. What we are going to do is spend a bit more time on Big questions under decision facilitating and under decision influencing. These are two concepts I want you to take away tonight. Decision facilitating and decision influencing. Under decision facilitating, we're interested in costing. Why? Because we want to reduce costs or we want to improve decisions that add value. Under influencing, we're more interested in controlling people, making sure that the strategy, the strategic plan we have for this company will work, will be executed. So here's the first big idea for tonight I want you to take away. Number one, one, there is a difference between Decision, decision facilitating, and decision influencing. Facilitating, influencing, okay? That and a dot means ing in shorthand. If you study shorthand, that ing, I-N-G, uh, with the dot. <coughs> okay, facilitating influencing. This is the first big concept I want you to take home tonight. So, in the next three weeks, we're going to look at process value analysis. We're going to look at product design, we're going to look at activity analysis, driver analysis, performance, how performance measures can be used. That's chapter 12 of the Horngren book, chapter 12. Activity-based costing flows into this. Later on, in week three and four, we're going to look at customer profitability, supplier profitability. Basically, we're looking at how we can make decisions Choosing the customers that are more profitable. Choosing the suppliers that are more profitable for us. So we're looking at the whole value chain, not just choosing products that are profitable. You see, in Management Accounting 1, your basic Management Accounting, we did focus on, okay, let's choose the product mix or the cost volume profit analysis. Let's make sure that product 
that we're going to make is going to be profitable. Ah, but what we're going to do in the next two or three or four weeks, it's not just the product that we can make decisions about that's going to be profitable. We can make decisions about the customer we sell to. Because you know some customers, they're nagging, they always ring up, they always want a special, they're always complaining. Yeah, they're unprofitable customers. So we need, can we allocate costs so we can find out which ones are unprofitable, which ones are profitable? Then we can sell more to the profitable customers. <gasps> Sound like a plan? We can do that with suppliers, supplier profitability. Some suppliers give you headaches all the time. They don't deliver on time. The quality is up, up to scratch. You have to spend more time supervising them. But other suppliers, they may charge you a little bit more, but the delivery is on time. The quality is up to standard. There's different profitability of suppliers. Ah, so in basic management accounting, we just looked at, you've got a range of products, some are profitable, some are not. Hmm, but now we expand it in strategic management accounting. It's not just the product that you make decisions on. You make decisions on suppliers. Hmm, you make decisions on the customers you sell to. And they all affect total the total value chain. In some ways, that's what we mean by stra strategic. Strategic is the whole value chain, not just the product you are making or the service that you're providing. Mm. So this is where we're going. So let me summarize your first point. There is decision facilitating and decision influencing. Notice this on your PowerPoint slide. Can you all see this? Decision facilitating, decision influence. See that? Hmm. And you're probably thinking, what's the difference? Do you have any idea of the difference? Decision facilitate is when we get information to make a more accurate, more accurate, more on-time decision, okay? Faster decisions, more choices, or feedback decisions. For example, when you compare the actual cost of a process against the standard cost or against the normal cost, normal cost, which is sort of like a budgeted cost that you allocate at the time of planning for a product production. You don't know the actual cost, you're planning. So you have this notion of what we call a standard cost. But after production, you find out what the actual is. You do the comparison, mm, that's feedback. So this is what we mean by feedback learning. Mm. Are you with me here? All of you have budgeted a weekly cost of coming and living in Hong Kong, right? You budgeted that, but now you're finding out the actual costs. When you do the comparison with budget, guess what? You are learning, you are getting feedback. Mm. A little bit more expensive than I expected. You know, my chicken rice is double what I expected. You're with me here, that's feedback, because you're finding out the actual situation versus what you expected or planned. What you planned, what you expect, is the standard. It's kind of like the starting point. Don't overcomplicate it. That's what standard costing is. We have basic expectations or standards for how much we expect to do something for. Then we find out the actual, oh, it's more expensive than more expected. Ah, oh, so we get feedback, okay? And then that may change the decision we make going forward. We, make, we may make more of one product and less of another product because the product we want to make more of is closer to our expected costs. You see that? Feedback changes decisions. So that's what we mean by decision facilitating. Decision influencing, on the other hand, is something like control. It's something like changing your behavior. But really, all your behavior is basically a result of decisions that you make, but they're cognitive decisions. It's your choice to use to focus your discretionary time. So maybe you will work for me, but as a student, I can change your decision about whether you come here every week or not. You know why? Because I have a attendance record here. You see, this document 
we're going to hand it out. And this is a real life example. I want you to sign next to your name here for 11th of December. You're going to have to do that for every week. Ah. So now I am influencing your decision. You with me here? That's decision influencing. And this is the mechanism of influence. So let's hand this around. Okay. See the difference between facilitating and influencing? See the difference? Facilitating, influencing. All right. That's your first thing I want you to take away tonight. And that's very powerful. Because the first one third of this semester is going to be really focusing on facilitating. How can we make more accurate, timely, evaluating decisions? Probably the last two thirds or last half, we're going to focus a bit more on influencing. How do we influence managers to make the right decisions? How can we influence employees? How can we influence behavior in the organization? Ah, see that? All right, so strategy covers both. Strategy, properly executed, you need to be mindful of both. You need to have information to help you do both very well. Hmm. So if we do well with influencing, do well with facilitating, basically, I think these arrows are mixed up, but you're getting on-time information, you have more accurate information, you have learning, but these feed into influencing people, the information, and also help them to make better decisions. Okay, better decisions. That first part, cost MA, that's management accounting one, where we look at cost flow assumptions, how do we accumulate costs, standard costing, and cost behavior. We are not going to cover that in this unit. You are not going to be examined in this area, but I just want to show you, because you haven't studied that, that that is area that you may want to cover in the future. That will not hold you back on what we're going to achieve this semester. I love big pictures. See how we got big picture? Now we've got a big picture within the big picture. Remember the big picture before? It's now five past eight. We're going to have a break soon, a break for about 10 minutes. Okay, when we come back, I'm going to start you down the road of activity-based costing. Hmm, all right? So what I'm going to do after the break is I'm going to show you how in week two we're going to spend a bit more time over here. In week three we're going to spend a bit more time over here. But if you look at this total model, this is the only way that we can get a factory to really improve its operations. The path to profitability for a lot of factories in mainland China in other parts of Asia, the answer is in somewhere here. It's in here, the answer is in there. You can be so valuable if you know how to find an answer for a factory. And most factories, especially mainland China, are not looking for that answer. They're thinking, oh, labor costs are going up 15% each year for the last five years. Oh, material costs are going up. What can we do? And the foreigners keep on putting the cost pressure on us. What do we do? Oh, we'll get cheap material parts. Oh, what do we do? Ah, let's outsource to our friends. who makes it cheaper than us, but we won't tell a customer. Okay, what do we do? Let's use cheap paint. Let's use this cheaper, but we won't tell the customer. No, there's a better way. And it's all about understanding the process, the process and finding better ways to extract value out of the process. I'm gonna teach you how to do that in the next few weeks. That is real, okay? Because we know factories across the board are hurting. A lot of factories, most of the ways factories operate across the border is that it does the last six months, then they close down. 
very few of them are sustainable in the way they're managed. But I'm here to help them. I want you to be able to help them, have the ability to help them. It's a new way of thinking about the relationship between the buyer and the supplier. And the answer is in here. We're going to cover that over the next few weeks. What I'm going to do after the break is introduce to you a basic formula called activity-based costing, which is over here. I'm going to take you through, after the break, how activity-based costing works. We're going to go through an example. In week three, we're going to use that same principle to apply to customers or to suppliers. And you start to realize, wow, information about costs and how we allocate them can provide us information to make more timely or accurate decisions. What are we trying to do? We're just trying to make faster decisions, more accurate decisions, or we're trying to get some feedback. That's all we're trying to do. That's where the value is. Okay, or we are getting information so we can influence the people to do better for us.